Well, I come, I have a degree in art and I have a degree in anthropology. And I did that because I have an interest in art. Art is a reflection of man. So we might as well study man, why do they create art? And um, you know that today's Indian artists, and I've always believed that, that they've got to compete in today's movements, genres of movements, whatever it be, cubism, pointillism, whatever it is, and avant-gardeism, whatever it is, to be successful and be deemed a creditable intellectual artist, so to speak, a person that is carrying that art to the next level. And we always want to progress with that art. But the native artist has to also maintain the tribal mores and traditions of wherever they came from. So they have to do traditional work, help the tribe, help the, the community, help your people and still make a living and compete in these national movements that are going on. When somebody comes to me and says, can you do this for me? And that person may be pitiful, or we call it Giddish Adzi, that they, they don't have much, but they need this, they want to dance, they want to do this, they want to, to be in a ceremony, and I need this. Okay, I'll do that for you. And then they come and they say, oh, I came for that. And is it finished? Yeah, it's finished. I got it. All you have to do is pay me. And that gift or that payment just may be a little bit of tobacco or a cigarette. And that will pay for that piece of artwork. That'll pay for that. Whatever it may be, a pipe or a fan or whatever they need to do in their ceremony or dance with. But the work that I did for them, to me, that, that payment means more than any, any piece of uh, monetary gift that could happen. Just that acknowledgement that they understood that, that that tobacco, I'm gonna pray for them and I'm gonna pray for that instrument that they use. And, um, that difficulty of surviving as an artist then in your today's world, then you have to compete with the painting and the sculpture and and there's some really good artists that come from our our nation here. You got Kathy Whitman and she goes by the artist named Elk Woman, Ryan Burr, there's Les Burr, there's there's a bunch of really great artists that are are of this nation and represent us very well. And the, the one that's really come into light and I really have a high admiration for is Monty Yellowbird. And he really carries on our tradition well. And he, he can, he's the one that can tell you these stories and he's the one that can tell you how this all fits together. And he's very well rounded in that ability to converse with the non-tribal member and spread what he's trying to get across in his artwork. And we really appreciate people like him.